got to have my snuggly. So I'm coming up a little bit early, but I invite you to come a little bit closer for this part so we can be together. How do you feel about that? Come here. Come here, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, Martin, Whoa. are you here? Sorry, Marisa. Sorry, Martin. Martin. <sighs> You're going to be playing that for a little while. <laughs> You know. Oh my goodness. So this has been a very interesting time. <sighs> Good Lord. <laughs> I'm already, already tearing up. It's been an interesting time in my life. so much. And to be honest with you, I didn't feel like sharing. And I felt like retreating. But when I check into what truly matters at the deepest level, it is community. And it is connection. And so it feels really important to, to share with you all. <laughs> I can feel that love. And this is the time of the divine goddess and the divine goddess is about connection. It's about the divinity, seeing the divinity in one another and receiving that divinity from each other and that love rather than just seeing divinity is like this. Divinity is also like this. Reaching out and holding each other's hands. When I was a baby, when I was in utero, my mom was bleeding. She took, because she was bleeding, the doctors gave her something called DES. And because of that, I became high risk for a lot of things. Um, I became high risk for reproductive issues, autoimmune. cervical cancer and breast cancer. So, I've had pretty much a lot, like a lot of that in my life. <laughs> and you all have kind of seen me go through different things with my physical health that was related to the endometriosis that I got from a reproductive. But just recently, So, and if I do, I believe it's in the earlier stages. So that's a good thing. But my story, 
while it's very personal to me, is a bigger story. And that bigger story is how all of us here, how we've exposed ourselves to a lot of toxins, a lot of environmental toxins, toxins in our food from Roundup, GMO, San Onofre, <laughs> which is right around the corner from here, you know, and that still hasn't resolved. But this is real. And the thing about these toxins is that you can't see them, you can't smell them, you can't taste them, but they're still there. And we're ingesting them and we're breathing them into our bodies. And it's like a little ticking time bomb. And believe me, for those of you who know me, know how healthy I eat. Like with my celery juice and my juices and all this. So it's a big issue. And I didn't expect, because of how good I take care of myself, to have this next piece come in. And because of that, I feel even a bigger responsibility to share because it's time for us to wake up. Because we matter. Our lives matter more than money and profits. Our lives are so special and so precious. So I will be sharing my journey. I'm gonna try as hard as I can because I really don't like Facebook very much, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm not on there very often because I kind of like would rather just be writing and doing other things. But I do feel like it's important to share and I'm going to really push myself to share the journey and to bring even more awareness to these issues of toxicity in our world because I'm like a little baby of that, you know, literally, like a little came into the world with a toxin in my body. And yet, this is a really important piece. I don't feel like a victim at all. I don't because I can also see the blessing of my journey and Coming into this world, I've had kind of a thinner veil, so to speak. I've been on death's door a few times. And because of that, I've had some profound gifts given to me for the ability to see things and hear things that maybe others aren't privy to because I've gone to the other side. So maybe I needed that medicine, right? And, and I'm also good with honoring that and saying, okay, there's other ways to learn too without those toxins. So I honor this body, I honor this temple, and I invite you to honor your temples and those of the temples around you, all these beautiful temples in this room tonight. And if we could just take, well, Binge is still gonna play, so it won't be completely silent, but I'll be silent. <laughs> if we could take a moment to imagine a world that puts people before prophets, imagine a world of compassion, imagine that San Onofre, that there's gonna be resolution and that we're gonna be safe that Encinitas is gonna be safe. And just take a minute to feel into that and see a huge and incredible light, that this is an opportunity for consciousness to grow, that we can take action and we can use our voices and to feel that, feel that empowerment on the inside of yourself right now, that you have the power to shift things with you and see the world rising up. 
just closing our eyes and together we drop into this visualization. Beautiful feeling in body. Take me to the edge, oh friend. 